you can find all sorts of white subjects to paint from these white mushrooms there's interesting shells and things if you're anything like me then you every time you visit the beach you come back with all these sorts of things and you can cut the subjects in half to show the interiors of fruits and vegetables that makes it really interesting things to draw and I'm going to draw these mushrooms in tinted charcoal by Derwent. And I've got other things here. I've got these sort of pastels. There's a bit of chalk and uh, bits of this charcoal. And you could use things like that on the tone paper as well. Chalk, for instance. Let's just have a play around with this. Obviously, it's going to be very dusty and chalky, but... You can get that initial, that initial stalk of the mushroom there, and then the body of the mushroom. Let's just try and grab this, shall we? And you can use it like that on its side. Of course, if you've got vine charcoal, you could do this on white paper as well with the vine charcoal and experiment. Using them on their side to sweep round and suggest the form that way. Like that. It's giving an impression already and um, I've got one of these colour shapers that you use for pastels and things and you can you can then actually start to sort of blend it round not too much and you could blend that round into the shadow side like that more and then leave the black for the darkest area and then this actually goes that way so you could do that so this is something to play around with if you want something more instant <laughs> to draw with, then you chalk and um, charcoal, vine charcoal. And then you can blend that around to create that form. So we'd need to erase that bit out. You can just come on with a putty eraser and take out some of the chalk. We've got white charcoal pencil here. You can come on there and start to refine it with the pencil. scratches it out too and the light is much brighter around there
Oh, there's such a bright, shiny highlight there. And then I think we need to take that out there to get our black shadow back. Oh, I've lost it there. We can even add some black charcoal there. get the darks even darker and then of course you could you could do it a bit more refined if you wanted to just come in and just draw just experiment Because I've got such a long point on this now, where I sharpened it, I can sweep it in on the side like that. Blending it out. So then we're creating our grey tones with the blending. Try not to lose the shadows. And there's quite a texture in this mushroom and the quite the texture. So we don't want to blend it out too much and lose that texture. some charcoal cut into the real darks you can lose the edges you know oh, 
create new ones, you can see, as well. And charcoal, it really is uh, expressive. Most often used for life drawing classes, I think, isn't it? But it can work well for these still lives and other subjects. So, yeah. Need to take out some of the highlight there. It was just too. I went too overboard with it. <laughs> oh, that'll add a bit of texture. Why not? Some details then. And some trying to get some really bright bright lights where I see them. Because remember always to when you start always look for the darkest darks and the lightest lights and kind of map out where they are. and use them to adjust. So it's constantly comparing and working out whether you've got the tones, whether you've judged them correctly. And the balancing act. And then adjusting and adjusting. get to detail as well and you if you have a look at some artists some um, charcoal drawings they really are quite detailed some of them so you can do it can actually use this colour shaper on its side to take out some of the 
chalk and charcoal there and create lines there. And um, always following the contours of the subject. Mm. 